We're a nation of trainer lovers. But how do you keep yours clean? Chucking dirty shoes in the wash could ruin them and potentially permanently damage your washing machine. To avoid expensive mistakes, follow these six expert hacks. My name is Vinny Tail. I'm the owner of Sneaker Farm. Um, we are a premium shoe care boutique uh, located in Manchester. First up, check the washing label in your trainers. There's always a care instruction tab in it. It'll tell you what the material is and then it's worth just checking on Google. If you're not too sure, just think of it from the material point of view. For example, leather. There's some levers that you can put in the washing machine and there's some levers you can't. Suede, you definitely can't. So let's say you have a pair of these. There's cotton on top and there's obviously rubber on the sole. Um, it's very plain. Um, there's not much detailing and there's not much na natural materials on there. So it's all synthetic. So that would be okay for the washing machine. If in doubt, always stick to hand washing. To properly clean your trainers, remove any caked on dirt before washing them. If you have any heavy soiling on the shoe or pre-treat it by giving it a light brush over, it makes it easy for the machine to kind of finish off what you can finish off. Always remove the insoles and laces pre-wash too. Insoles are usually made of a synthetic foam material which takes a really long time to dry. So it's best just to wipe them clean. Chucking towels in the drum with your trainers can help absorb impact and protect them during the wash. Put it in um, a wash bag. That, again, adds an, another layer of protection. Laces are fine within the bag. The household item would be like a pillowcase that you don't use again. It's just to provide a, like a shielding because in a washing machine there's little holes that the water drains out. If you do not want fabric to snag on that, of course, damage to your shoe and also potentially your washing machine. To stop colours fading, use a low temperature or cold wash. Never have any heat whatsoever in the washing machine. Leave it on slow cycle as well. Don't have fast spin. You want a slow, gradual movement as long as possible on the cold wash. A recent witch investigation found the 20 degree setting uses around two thirds less energy than washing at 40. So you'll also be helping the environment too. During the wash, the inside of your trainers doesn't get as much water circulating in them, meaning powder detergents might get stuck inside and along the seams, especially on a cold setting. Instead, use a liquid detergent, which works better at lower temperatures. When it comes to drying, a golden rule is avoid heat. With materials like shoes, most of them are created by uh, cementing the sole to the rubber and that's done with a, a glue and adhesive so anytime you start adding heat to that combination you'll you'll see separation and stuff like that and that's a no-no stuff them with paper towels or silica gel bags to absorb as much moisture as possible hanging them ideally outdoors first from the heel then if possible turn the other way is best you want to avoid leaving it in direct sunlight because it affects the colour and potentially affects the feel of the material as well. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel.